because this is how I live my life. I don't walk to the door. I fucking ride to the door, brother. Fuck yeah. Hey, I'm supposed to go get some dirt. I don't know anything about dirt. Me and Carl were looking at different places to get dirt yesterday. I'm just really hoping that we get this right and I don't fill the beds up with a bunch of shit so Chrissy doesn't make me like sleep in them. Looks like it's gonna start pouring rain any second. Where's Acacia? You when you mentioned the dirt to her yesterday, yeah. did you mention to her that the reason we're doing Asshole. shitty dirt is because we have like a foot and a half to fill? Yeah, but the fancy dirt was cheaper than the dirt we found from other places. Oh. Might as well. Yeah. Party. All right, let's oh, get this goddamn truck out of here. We'll get the old that pool. Where are your keys? Uh, uh, truck we'll keys. Over okay. right cool. We're just gonna use all the same dirt for everything. Mm-hmm. Instead of doing like subpar dirt and then good dirt? Yes. Does this dirt come in bags or is it like No. Um, I have a, a large rack and a, and a car tent on my truck bed right now that I have to go take off and then fill the truck bed with dirt. Which, that's going to be multiple truckloads of dirt. You yeah. understand that, right? Oh, yeah, I do. And the trailer's filled? With filled as fuck. Or like, yeah. would they deliver? I wonder if that'd be the same oh. price as renting. Um, one well, of the places They probably does wouldn't deliver today. It'd probably be like weeks out, right? I don't oh. know. We will check. It's the only concern I have. I mean, it's whatever, but I'm just looking at the sky. Hey, Carl. What are you doing, bud? Hey, man. Where are we getting this dirt from? Will they deliver? Is that an option? Do you know this? Yeah, make make call. Use your little elf fingers and type that number in on your phone. Can you guys deliver today? Is that a possibility? Yep, eight, eight, eight yards of triple mix. Eight this afternoon? Okay, that's perfect. Um, <laughs> Between one and four. Phone will be there when you're you're delivering it anyway, so it's not a big that's not a big deal. The first year, I remember we had to buy three blends of soil, and we were like mixing it with our hands in there. So now they make the kind of like all-encompassing blend, which just makes it a little bit easier, a little bit cleaner. So yeah, we'll probably go with that. In case you said it's some sort of like triple blend, fancy pants, like nice stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, just, I know it has something involving the word triple and something involving the word soil, and that's about all I know. Um, but it's nice stuff, it's for gardening, and um, like I said, I just hope that I don't mess this up. With the different styles of dirt, um, you're, there's different nutrients that are involved in it. And so what you want to use for gardening is actually called, um, tr it's a triple mix. So you have your um, topsoil, and what's called your uh, hummus, but it's not <laughs> eating hummus. And then um, there's the manure or the compost. And so the triple, the triple mix is a mix of all three of those. And it's really important to have the proper mix so that you get the proper pH balance and nutrients for your garden soil. So that's one of the things that we're gonna be getting today. And you also, Generally for home gardening, it's nice to have a sterilized mix because that means that there aren't any weeds in it. And so they've actually gone through and taken all of that out while keeping the nutrients in. Okay, so um, we put the mulch in the bottom of the beds and then we put down a bunch of just like mediocre dirt. So I buy the soil from Moana Nursery. They have like a custom blend that's specific for produce and vegetables. Um, so it already comes like pre-fertilized with everything that it would need to grow. So you don't need to buy all the extra like tomato f food because you have to feed, like the tomatoes need their own type of food to help them grow. So 
the first year I got all the food and I would do like the tomato food, the pepper food, and like almost it's like, it's like you use it like compost essentially um, and just add it to the soil. But then I found out they have a custom blend of speci for specific produce. So it's fairly expensive, but like I just want good quality food. So that's where a lot of us differ. Chloe and I are the type of people that are gonna shell out the extra money for quality because we're quality people. I talk so much, I talk so much. <laughs> Whereas Ashley's one of the cheapest people I know. Free dirt! Oh, God bless her, she's so sweet. But um, she's very cheap and she literally just was like, let's just go get, let's, she wanted to plant in the earth. I don't know if you guys remember from episode one, she was digging around in the dirt and she's like, we could just plant here. I'm like, that shitty Reno dirt, nothing's gonna grow in that. What are you talking about? No, not a soil expert whatsoever, but we're going to um, a nursery today and I think that will be something we can ask a lot of questions about. Um, you know, I think we're not afraid to say that there's things we don't know and that's why we have these nurseries and they can help us out a lot. So I'm hoping we can get um, a lot of those questions answered. Get some sloggers. We need these. <laughs> I need the pair. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the chicken. No. Chickens and roosters. And cows. <gasps> no. <laughs> no. plants and stuff oh. like because that has a bunch of animal in it um it just the calcium and everything like that so that essentially the plants will end up being stronger okay um and have better production okay. because plants also need so what i do is i put and this is all good bacteria like mm -hmm. when i drink kombucha Com yes cut everyone yells at me and it's just it. nitrogen kombucha. and phosphate so yeah. we can get that too i don't know Cheetahs. Free dirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we could just steal from my dad. dad. <laughs> Free dirt. <laughs> and beer attracts slugs, and so if you place little containers around the garden that have beer in it, all the yeah. slugs will come to the beer, and instead of eating the plants, they'll drink the beer. That's Whoa. exciting. A beer garden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Beer garden for bugs. <laughs> What you guys are gonna get is the triple mix. All right. And then what we should get is um, like three bags of just organic compost. Right. And mix it in, the very mix top. It in to yeah. the very top. And the earthworm casters? Yes. We need the earthworm casters. The earthworm. It's on that inside. Others. What about the earthworm casters? <laughs> and the earthworm casters? I have to mention it every day. We can't forget about the earthworms. And the earthworm casters. Oh, I love earthworms. They're my favorite. I need an earthworm tattoo. In gardening compost is really important and unfortunately we haven't set up a composting system yet however I hope that is in the future you guys like but if you want to do ha! out of dirt compost It's just, it's weird, like I'm sitting here like, well we need to sign another year lease in this house so we can get two seasons out of this, so 
I'm definitely now, like, I know why we built the planners and, like, I get why we did it. But it's definitely one of those things right now where I'm kind of like, whoa, we invested a lot of money into this project that is staying here because I live in a rental home. So, like, just more things to think of. Like, if you live in a rental home, don't invest a ton of money into a permanent planner setup compared to if you own your house and you can have more of a permanent setup. So, I know we did the right thing for the purpose of, like, this series because, like, it's, it's just a fucking learning process. That's all it is. But we definitely took the pricey route, I am now realizing. That's okay. <laughs> I think uh, we'll also be able to learn a lot from what we did and how we can budget and how we can help people budget. You know, we can look back and say, okay, this was really expensive. What if we had done it this way and provide that information? Because there's definitely a lot of, you know, and we are trying to put it together really quickly um, because it's growing season and sometimes, you oh know. Oh my God, is that the dirt? Is that the dirt? Oh shit, that was fast. It's noon. I don't know what your street lines are on here, but definitely. Are you going to move it all right now today? Yeah. And I was like, you're early. He goes, so you're here. <laughs> yeah, what'd he say? One to four? What is it, 12, 18? Nailed it. <laughs> well, I'm just glad we were pulling up as he, we pulled up yeah. behind him. And I was like, is that the fucking dirt? <laughs> yeah. I was, Get all there, trash dog. Oh, he loves fresh dirt. I definitely don't have two tarps in the bed of my truck we just bought that were supposed to go under all this shit. But he 70, was bucks, not waiting 70 around. bucks we don't have to spend, I guess. All right. Well, we have a shitload of shovels in one wheelbarrow, so I feel like the majority of the work is going to be shoveling the shit into the wheelbarrow. Yeah. And once you get it over there, it's just a matter of dumping it in. So we'll just have like one person over the planter just kind of leveling it out and okay. like two or three people shoveling right. the shit in. I'm going to put on clothes that can get filthy. Yeah, me too. Shovels. Several minis. Good. Good flavor pipe shovels. Oh, cover tips. Oh,